In this video, I will show you how to do some web design using ChatGPT and other AI tools such as Midjourney for image generation. So first of all, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel and let's go. So the four step process is as follows. Find any design or illustration or anything you like. It can be an illustrative web page, can be a product illustration, anything really. Take a screenshot of that illustration, run, then run it through Clip Interrogator, which is a reverse engineering of a prompt for that given image. And then use some form of website builder, uh, builder to, uh, um, to, use, to create a website. And also if you want to remove the background and so on. But let me show you. So here is an illustrator and art director whose style I absolutely love. So if you see this, Romain, um, I'm just going to borrow one of your designs for some inspiration. And your stuff is awesome. So I like these shoes. So I've taken a screenshot, screenshot of these shoes. And I've gone to inter Clip Interrogator, run that screenshot through it, and I've gotten a prompt. So second step is to generate the actual image. So I'm going to go to Discord. That's another image I've done this way. I'm going to go to Discord. And this is mid journey. I'm going to prompt it with imagine. Then I'm going to drop the prompt. Uh, it's a bit weird that these uh, icons are here. So I'm actually going to remove them. And let's see what we have. Pair of white sneakers on up. Actually, let's say white background. And let's say red sneakers. Perfect. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, OK. Then we're going to have version 4, an aspect ratio of 3 to 2. And that's actually, it should be aspect ratio. Three to two. So let's see what, where that gets us. Okay, so this is where that gets us. I think all of these are absolutely awesome, to be honest. But I'm going to use the third one because it has a nice um, like border effect. It's, it's a bit contrasted against the, the background in a way that I like. So I am going to upscale this one, meaning make it larger and higher quality. And I'm also going to rerun an iteration of these four to see what we get. So let's see how that looks like. So upscale number three. And give me some versions of all of these. So here is the upscaled version of the shoe. Let's save that one. Let's try to remove the background and let's create a website. I'll also show you the other iterations of the shoe, which are also awesome. Like I like all of these. So it's difficult to choose, but let's just roll with it for now. Uh, I think this sand looks awesome. I think this framing is great. And overall, I'm just continually impressed by how good AI is at interpreting, you know, written commands and what we can get out of it. And it's improving at a accelerating uh, rate as well. So that's very exciting. Let's go with this one. Now remove the background. Okay, step two, I'm gonna create a web design with this shoe or with this illustration or whatever, and then create a website pretty fast doing it. So. Let's just go with the classic website assign. Um, so like apple.com, why not? Let's roll with apple.com. And here I'm in, I am in Figma. I have a neat little plugin called HTML to design. Apple.com, I'm gonna import that web design from HTML straight into Figma. And here I have the Apple design. Now I can just replace this image here. Let's see where that div is here. Replace this image with the image that we just created. So here we have a shoe. I mean, this looks a bit weird, right? Maybe we fill with what? Maybe we fill with something that is, maybe we fill, oh, maybe is this gray actually? Uh -huh. Maybe we can fill with the white then. Something like this. And of course we can change this to whatever we like. So let's say this is now a shoe. Maybe we need some more illustrations. Okay, so let's use var the variations and put them here. So one with black background, another one with white. Have some here. Uh, okay, that's variation of this one. Let's see what we have. Uh, 
let's upscale this one. And while we wait for those variations, let's go to ChatGPT to write some copy. Hello, I have just launched a new shoe brand, sneakers. They are mostly red in color and the audience is generation, I don't even know, Z. Help me write some copy for the website. I need a title and subtitle for this amazing shoe for the website. As well as a slogan. Oops, let's reload. Here for your day, as I Red Revolution Ultimate Sneaker for Eh, red revolution sneakers. I don't know, let's regenerate. It's fast anyway, so. I mean, they're not the worst, but I want more, so. Okay, great. Can you please be a bit more expressive, more, more bold, and add some wit? Wit. I don't know how it's spelled wit. Anyway, it usually handles my misspellings. So let's see where we get to. Okay, take the throne. <laughs> I don't know why I like that. Let's let's roll with it. Uh, here we are. Take the throne. This needs to be smaller, maybe 62. Uh, okay. Thanks. Can you give me a brand name as well? Uh, rule of fashion scene. Flame foot. Sizzle souls. <laughs> no, let's let's do it. This is stupid and fun at the same time. Is this an image? Aha, uh -huh, okay. And uh, that's a something something. No. Let's do it like this. Did I duplicate the whole thing? I did not. Here, let's go with 32. What did we say? Sizzle souls. Let's do a red one then. Some form of red. Uh, no, actually, let's just do it like this. Take the throne with red rind with red rind sneakers. <laughs> okay. Okay, great. Can you help me write a subheading? Okay, okay, but Please make it longer and format it in the, pay, what's it called? Pain, pain, gain, claim, copywriting formula. OK, 
Okay, let's just roll with it. Roll with it. No, that's not it. This one. But come on. I am trying to command C. That's better. That's better. Okay, take the throne with red Ryan sneakers. Let's remove these. Actually, we can do like so. Learn more. Learn more about Sizzle Souls. <laughs> okay. Uh, here we are. Actually, maybe we should draw with this one. Mm -mm. Do we have something else here? Okay, let's grab this one as well then. I'm also gonna run the same prompt, but with a black background. Imagine on a black and also let's not do red, let's do like neon, neon red. See where that gets us. In the meantime, I'm gonna remove the background from the one. Okay, so here is another one which removed background. Maybe this one is actually better overall. I'm conflicted. Let's 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 try that again just one more time. Not one time, I mean. Mm. Something with the aspect ratio is wrong. Aha, okay, I messed up the aspect ratio. No, no, let's let's keep the cleaner one. There we go, and we can sub this one we can change. Shows image. And for sure. It's gonna be okay. Something here, red, red sizzle. <laughs> Oh, we got a neon one. Okay, nice. Let's go with uh, this one, the fourth. Okay, here is the shoe, the neon shoe. This is actually great, I love this one. So let's take this and add it to the side. Okay, here we go. It's not perfect, but it's good enough and it's fast. So now to another little neat plugin. We're gonna go to plugins and I'm gonna go uh, okay, Figma to HTML with Framer. And it's gonna copy all these layers. And then I'm gonna use probably the best website builder I've ever seen. And that's called Framer. So I'm gonna copy all this, copied. I'm gonna to go to Framer. I'm gonna paste this in Framer. Okay, so width 1512 I see there. So let's change the width to 1512 and let's change the height to fit content. And then I'm actually gonna publish this. And blah, 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 update. And I should have an app. Ah, <sighs> there we go.
there we go. Oh, as you can see, actually the, the shoe is a bit pixelated, so we need a better, uh, better version of the shoe. So a bigger one, we can fix that. Oh, that broke down. Let's fix that fi quick. So let's see, oops, oops, oops. Why did you break down, my friend? Okay, so I just aligned it a little bit and we have a first version of a landing page. Take the throne with Red Rain, uh, Red Rain sneakers from Zizzle Sauce. And again, a bit pixelated, but still you get the concept right. Tired of blending in with the crowd, yada, yada, yada. And Red Sizzle, Red Sizzle. So what we've done here is the following. We have found a design that we like or want to take inspiration from, run it through clip, get a reverse or reverse engineer prompt, run that prompt in uh, Discord with Midjourney. Take the images we like, remove the background if needed to, gone into Figma and created a design with a plugin called HTML to design. I just took Apple's uh, websites, put in my images. Then I use Framer and I take HTML, uh, no, sorry, I take go from Figma to HTML and paste it into Framer here. And then I just uh, publish the homepage and that's it. And of course we use the chat GPT for some text inspiration. So this is how we can use AI to create web designs pretty fast. And again, this is just an example, but the sky's the limit here. So enjoy, hope you like it. See you soon and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.